locks all look relatively the same. You've got your key, you've got your keyhole, but guess what? They're not. And I'm here today at Baldwin to learn all about the different types of door locks. I'm hitting the road, searching for answers, and finding great design. It's a quest for beauty, function, and of course, inspiration. What are the different types of locks? Because there are so many different types from interior to exterior doors. What do you need on your exterior doors? Well, there are lots of options. Of course, we just talked about the mortise lock. And this, this is what a mortise lock looks like. The term mortise means to put inside of, which means you actually cut a large pocket into the edge of the door, and then this is inserted inside the, the door. Everything is inside this box. The latch bolt, the deadbolt, it's, it's all encompassed inside this case. The other type of lock that you'll see on exterior applications would be like this one. This is what we call a tubular design. And in this particular type of lock, you have a, a separate latch bolt and a separate deadbolt. Now this also has a one inch throw and there's a saw proof pin in here as well. Okay, you can't see it because of how the lock is constructed, but it's designed to do the same thing. If you start to cut through it, once the saw gets to that pin, it will roll. So you have it there, even though it's not visible like it is in the mortise lock. Are all tubular locks, do they always have the top part separate from the bottom part? Is that how you can tell them? No, um, you can tell from the edge of the door because unlike here, where it's where all you're together. Have all in one, you're gonna have a separate face place for the latch and a separate one for the deadbolt. But the trim in the outside could be what together. we call a sectional trim like this, or it could be a full discussion trim as well. Which type of lock is better for your exterior doors? If you were to choose, which one's more secure? And which one gives you more flexibility? Well, from a flexibility standpoint, you have many more options with a mortise lock. Okay, we have more trim designs available, many more finishes available. Okay, however, there are, there are door conditions and there are instances when that may not be appropriate for the homeowner depending on what they have, which is why we have this line. Okay, the other consideration is, is cost, okay? This is a, a less expensive way to get there than with a mortise lock, but we do offer many designs and many finishes in the tubular designs so that it'll fit just about any type of decor. Can mortise locks not go in all doors? That's correct, mortise locks can't go in all doors. Uh, sometimes the style is too thin, okay? You don't have enough room to insert something this deep. Now we have different back sets and we have smaller designs, but still there are applications where it, it isn't going to work. And in, in some instances, the only way to go is with a tubular design. Now can tubular designs go on all doors? Not if you already have a drill for the mortise, can it? Because you'd already have the big hole in there? Yeah, it, it requires so much work to, to modify the door and repair the door to accommodate something uh, like this. It, you're probably better off to put a mortise lock back in it. So basically, the type of lock you get depends on the type of holes you already have drilled in your door. It depends on how the door is prepared. It depends on how thick the door is. With the tubular designs, the maximum door thickness that you can go to is two and a quarter inches. Now, the standard for exterior doors is one and three quarter, but we see a lot of custom doors come through here at Baldwin and our, our requests for hardware for custom doors, and two and a quarter inch is the next standard size, if you will, but we see them even thicker than that. So. Up to two and a quarter inches, we can accommodate that with the Images product line. But when you get thicker than that, then you have to move to the estate product line and the mortise lock. When you do interior doors, you don't have these big deadbolts and turnkeys. What type no, of locks you do you use? That's called a privacy. That for, would be for your, uh, your bathroom and bedroom applications. And this is a, a sectional of a, a lever set with a rosette with a, with a uh, this happens to be a passage latch. For a privacy, we do it differently than some manufacturers do. A lot of manufacturers put a, a button in their knob. We that have you can a, turn. Exactly. We have a small pin that goes through the, in this case, Oh, that's clever. Discussion. It's very tiny. It's very tiny. Um, and when you go to exit the room and you twist the doorknob, the pin automatically pops out. What type of doors do you use, I guess, locks on on your interior doors? Well, this would be for your bathroom and bedroom applications, OK? Um, so some place where you want to be able to secure the door, but it's not necessary to use a key like it would on the front of the house, okay? You also, in a privacy lock, always have provisions for an emergency where release. Where you can push a exactly. little thing in there. You know, if, if grandma's in the bathroom and she's fallen down and is laying there and unconscious, you don't want to have to take a chainsaw to the door to get in. So this provides a way to get in and get in case of an emergency. So it doesn't have the chainsaw proof rods in it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this wouldn't. 
Um, are there different types of interior door locks? Yeah, um, the, with interior locks, you can go from a mortise lock to a tubular design. We actually have small mortise locks available for um, interior applications for that customer that wants the best of the best. When it comes to locks, of course safety and privacy are the most important factors to think about, but don't forget about style. And with so many options, I don't think you'll have to. Check out my website, askthedecorator.com, to discover more about this topic, read informative how-to articles, or watch other videos from my trip. You'll find a variety of helpful decorating advice when you stop by.